Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me, guys. I wanted to update you on Grand Theft Auto 6. Of course, as we've covered here on the channel, we expected possibly a teaser at E3 2016. That did not come. That said, there's been a ton of rumors going around, including that the game might come out in 2018. And the reason behind that is just how long it's taken between GTA 5 and the eventual GTA 6. It's been a long time. Grand Theft Auto 5 originally came out in 2013, so the, that of course would line up perfectly for a 2018 release for GTA 6. We'll talk about that in this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining up. I greatly appreciate it. Of course, we have a great community here at Trippy Commentaries as we are well over 100,000 subscribers. We did get hit by the YouTube purge, so hopefully we can uh, kind of make up for the damage there. But like I said, we definitely appreciate you guys. We have a bunch of special events coming. Trippy Commentaries is going to get huge. And of course, all of you guys can say that you've been here since it started. So guys, when it comes to Grand Theft Auto 6, a lot of people have been messaging me, pointing to the other games in the GTA series. I kind of wanted to give you a timeline on when those games came out. And of course, basically the time it takes to make a new GTA game from the last one. The very first Grand Theft Auto game came out in 1997, GTA 1. I'm sure as a lot of you guys know, it was quite a bit different. You know, it wasn't a open world 3D game like this. It was a top-down perspective. So it was a completely different style of gameplay. That said, still a great game, especially if you're into the whole, you know, Hitman, gangster mentality games. It still brought that to the table, just in a much different perspective. GTA London came out, which was in 1999. It was GTA London 1969 as well as 1961. A bit of an expansion pack, kind of like what we see for, of course, the newer games in the uh, franchise, not including GTA 5, as we have not gotten a proper expansion for this game yet, unfortunately. GTA 2 came out in 1999, so 97 to 1999 between GTA 1 and 2. Not very long at all. Of course, those games didn't really have too much technology, so it didn't take a long time to get the games out compared to what it does now. GTA 3 came out in 2001, so that's two years after GTA 2, and that was a mega upstart for the series as it went from the top-down version to a full 3D Liberty City. Take it from me, guys. I played GTA 3 right away, and it was absolutely mind-blowing. Really still a great game to this day when you have the storyline and you have all of Liberty City to explore, especially for those who play GTA 4 where they go back to Liberty City. It's still pretty cool exploring the original version of Liberty City. It's still very impressive despite it not having a lot of the things that we've known to love about Grand Theft Auto. Now GTA Vice City came out in 2002. Vice City was so popular and it's kind of surprising guys to see that it was only released a year after GTA 3, so it only took them a year to come out with another massive blockbuster game. Vice City was stunning. It brought a lot to the table that GTA 3 did not have. Of course, Vice City taking place in Miami, so you know you have that palm tree atmosphere, great environments, boating, a lot of things that, once again, very, very mind-blowing for a lot of us back then. I mean, we were playing games that had nothing even close what to the Grand Theft Auto franchise brought to the table, and it shows you just why GTA has been the king of video games for a long time. So GTA 4 came out in 2008. That was four years after GTA San Andreas. San Andreas followed up on Vice City two years afterwards. Man, San Andreas, I gotta tell you guys, that game was so massive compared to the other games. Every other one was just one city, Vice City, Liberty City, it just concentrated on the one city, and then GTA San Andreas came out with three massive cities and tons of landscape between them. Once again, just a crazy, crazy game, and much better than any other game at the time, if you ask me. So Vice City came out in 2002. Two years later, you have GTA San Andreas. It took four years after that for GTA 4 to come out, so 
quite a big gap there, and that's understandable just because it was the first game on the next gen of consoles. It changed up the Grand Theft Auto series a lot. It was much more realistic. San Andreas was really fictitious, and the, the gravity of the cars was all just meant to be fun and arcadey. GTA 4 was kind of an experiment for the series because they went realistic with it. It changed up a lot, and I was not a big fan of it at first. You know, I loved a lot of the things that were in San Andreas. Things like the jetpack, stuff like that, was nowhere to be found in GTA 4. So after GTA 4 came out, which the game had a ton of detail, so it was great in its own right, it took a long time, five years, for GTA 5 to be released. Keep in mind, GTA 4 did have three DLCs that came out the year after it was released, so that's something we haven't gotten at all for GTA 5. I mean, three huge single-player expansions to GTA 4. It was awesome, and we haven't gotten any for GTA 5. That said, five years between GTA 4 and GTA 5, does that mean it'll take five more years to get G to GTA 6? It really is surprising that it takes so long for Rockstar to release a new Grand Theft Auto game. We're talking about the biggest game in the world in many circles, and it takes five, possibly six, maybe even seven years to release a new version of the game. You'd think that they would try to release one way faster, but I know they're making a lot of money off of GTA Online, so maybe that's one of the reasons why it doesn't seem like they're in much of a hurry at all. Another huge rumor that I wanted to talk about when it comes to GTA 6, I know a lot of you guys have heard this before, but I had a question for you. Apparently, there might be a female protagonist coming to GTA 6. That's one of those rumors that many people think are not true, but I totally think that it should be true, and I think it should be a custom character. You know, I always wanted a custom character in Grand Theft Auto, just like you do you know, in many other games such as Skyrim. I've mentioned this before, how I do want a custom character. Well, that's where you should be able to choose. Do you want your character to be a male or a female? Now, a female character would be pretty badass. I'm a big fan of Laura Croft. There's some other really cool female characters in other games. But here's the question I have for you guys as Grand Theft Auto fans. If we do have a female protagonist, a main character that we can kick some serious ass with, Rob Banks, heists, you name it, do everything we've done and more in Grand Theft Auto. Well, what about picking up prostitutes? That's the question I have for you. Can we still do that as a female? Or are we going to have to get some male gigolos? Something like that? Because, like it or not, that's been part of GTA for a while. We've always loved grabbing the, uh, the prostitutes. I mean, it might be a little bit risque, but that said, I still find it quite hilarious. Let me know what you guys think about the female protagonist. This is a rumor that's been going on for a long time. I still think that there probably is some truth to it. I know a lot of the things you do in GTA, you know, seem to be aligned with the male gangster characters, but hey, you know, it's about time that changes. Let's get an epic female character into Grand Theft Auto 6. If it's up to me, I hope it is a custom character so that way we can kind of change it up and do whatever we wish. But let me know what you guys think. Can we possibly knock the bottom off some dude with a female character? That's pretty hilarious, guys. Once again, I really appreciate you joining up for the video. We'll always keep you updated here at Trippy Commentaries. So always stay tuned. We'll have a live stream for you tomorrow. And as always, stay trippy, my friends.